Golden Seal, Wikipedia Audio Golden Seal, also called Orange Root or Yellow Picoon, is a perennial herb in the Buttercup family Ranunculaceae, native to southeastern Canada and the eastern United States. It may be distinguished by its thick, yellow knotted rootstock. The stem is purplish and hairy above ground and yellow below ground where it connects to the yellow rhizome. The plant bears two palmate, hairy leaves with five seven double toothed lobes and single, small, inconspicuous flowers with greenish white stamens in the late spring. It bears a single berry like a large raspberry with 1030 seeds in the summer. In herbal medicine, golden seal is used as a multi-purpose remedy, however, there is little scientific evidence it works. Golden seal has the following purported uses, control muscle spasms, treat cancer, stimulate the heart and increase blood pressure, treat gastrointestinal disorders, treat conjunctivitis, manage painful and heavy menstruation, treat infections topically, reduce swelling and edema. Golden seal may be purchased in salve, tablet, tincture form, or as a bulk powder. Golden seal is often used to boost the medicinal effects of other herbs with which it is blended or formulated. A second species from Japan, previously listed as Hydrastis palmatum, is sufficiently distinct that it is now usually treated in a separate genus, as Glossidium palmatum. Efficacy there is currently insufficient evidence to determine whether golden seal is effective for any conditions. According to the American Cancer Society, evidence does not support claims that golden seal is effective in treating cancer or other diseases. Golden seal can have toxic side effects, and high doses can cause death. At the time of the European colonization of the Americas, Golden seal was in extensive use among certain Native American tribes of North America, both as a medicine and as a coloring material. Benjamin Smith Barton in his first edition of Collections for an Essay Toward a Materia Medica of the United States, refers to the Cherokee use of golden seal as a cancer treatment. Later, he calls attention to its properties as a bitter tonic and as a local wash for ophthalmia. It became a favorite of the eclectics from the time of Constantine Raffinesque in the 1830s. Dr. John Henry Pinkard, a noted Yarb doctor and producer of quack medicines in Roanoke, Virginia, during the 1920s and 1930s, had a variety of potions and remedies that he prepared and sold out of his drugstore and shipped across the country. Some of the names were, Pinkard's Hydrastic Compound, Pinkard's Great Liniment and Pinkard's Sanguinaria Compound. Many of his potions were based on herb lore taken from traditional slave and rural Virginia medical practices and local Native American remedies. Herbalists today consider golden seal an alterative, anti-catarrhal, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, astringent, bitter tonic, laxative, anti-diabetic and muscular stimulant. They discuss the astringent effect it has on mucous membranes of the upper respiratory tract, the gastrointestinal tract, the bladder and rectum, and the skin. Golden seal is very bitter, which stimulates the appetite and aids digestion, and often stimulates bile secretion. Herbalist Paul Bergner investigated the research and has been unable to find case reports where the level of intestinal pathogens are lower after taking golden seal. In fact, a study by Rabini where men with E. coli-induced diarrhea who had 42-48% reduced symptoms after taking berberine showed unchanged levels of intestinal bacteria, pathogenic or otherwise after taking golden seal.
It appears likely that Golden Seal shares with Mahonia and Berberis the ability to inhibit the drug resistance efflux pumps of bacteria, as discussed below. Golden Seal contains the isoquinoline alkaloids, hydrastine, berberine, berberastine, hydrastinine, tetrahydroberberastine, canadine, and canalidine. A related compound, 8 oxotetrahydrothalifendine was identified in one study. One study analyzed the hydrastine and berberine contents of 20 commercial golden seal and golden seal containing products and found they contained variously 0% 2.93% hydrastine and 0.82% 5.86% berberine. Berberine and hydrastine act as quaternary bases and are poorly soluble in water but freely soluble in alcohol. The herb seems to have synergistic antibacterial activity over berberine in vitro, possibly due to efflux pump inhibitory activity. Multiple bacteria and fungi, along with selected protozoa and chlamydia are susceptible to berberine in vitro. Berberine alone has weak antibiotic activity in vitro since many microorganisms actively export it from the cell. Interestingly, there is some evidence for other berberine-containing species synthesizing an efflux pump inhibitor that tends to prevent antibiotic resistance, a case of solid scientific evidence that the herb is superior to the isolated active principle. However, it is not yet known whether Golden Seal contains a drug resistance efflux pump inhibitor, although many antimicrobial herbs do. California is proposing to list Golden Seal root powder as a carcinogen. Traditional use A study where pregnant rats were fed about 47 times the usual human dose of 26 mg kg concluded. Maternal liver weights were increased at greater than or equal to 6250 ppm, suggesting possible enzyme induction. There was no definitive evidence of developmental toxicity in this study. Another study, where mice were fed 300 times the estimated human intake from dietary supplements, concluded. Maternal liver weights were increased at greater than 12,500 ppm, but in the absence of treatment-related histopathological lesions. At the high dose, definitive evidence of developmental toxicity was limited to a statistically significant reduction in average fetal body weight per liter. The lethal dose of berberine isolates in humans is thought to be 27.5 mg kg. Berberine is absorbed slowly orally, it achieves peak concentrations in 4 hours and takes 8 hours to clear. Berberine is excreted in the urine, and human studies of berberine show evidence it can be absorbed through the skin. Pharmacokinetic data is not available for hydrastine or golden seal root powder. Berberine in humans can cause blocking of receptors in smooth muscle, blocking potassium channels in the heart and reducing ventricular tachycardia, inhibiting intestinal ion secretion and toxin formation in the gut and increasing bile secretion. While golden seal, like all alkaloid-rich herbs including coffee and tobacco should be avoided during pregnancy and given to very young children with care. It appears that golden seal is unlikely to be toxic in normal doses. Interactions with drugs with narrow therapeutic windows like warfarin, cyclosporin, protease inhibitors, and cardiac glycosides are potential concerns. Side effects of golden seal may include digestive complaints, nervousness, depression, constipation, rapid heartbeat, diarrhea, stomach cramps, and pain mouth ulcers, nausea, seizures, vomiting, and central nervous system depression. High doses may cause breathing problems, paralysis, and even death. Long-term use may lead to vitamin B deficiency, hallucinations, and delirium. In addition, 
golden seal may cause brain damage to newborn babies if given to them directly or if taken by their breastfeeding or pregnant mothers, and may affect blood pressure unpredictably because it contains several different compounds that have opposite effects on blood pressure. Taking golden seal over a long period of time can reduce absorption of B vitamins. Avoid golden seal during pregnancy and lactation, with gastrointestinal inflammation, and with pro-inflammatory disorders. A recent study found rats fed with golden seal constantly for two years had a greater tendency towards tumor formation. Golden seal has been found to have inhibited cytochrome P450-CYP2D6, CYP3A4, and CYP3A5 activity by approximately 40%, a statistically and clinically significant reduction. CYP2D6 specifically is a known metabolizer of many commonly used pharmaceuticals, such as antidepressants, neuroleptics, and codeine. Combining golden seal with such medications should be done with caution and under the supervision of a doctor as it can lead to serious, perhaps fatal, toxicity. Those with a genetic deficiency in these enzymes are at particular risk. Golden seal became a part of American folklore associated with chemical testing errors, from pharmacist John Uri Lloyd S. 1900 novel Stringtown on the Pike. In the book, The Victim's Habit of Taking Golden Seal in the Form of Digestive Bitters, causes this herb to appear as the poison strychnine in a chemical test, thus suggesting murder. It has been used on occasions in this century to attempt to mask the use of morphine in race horses. Mechanism of Action Constituents in Modern Pharmacology Two studies have demonstrated no effect of oral golden seal on urine drug assays over water alone. Subjects who drank large amounts of water had the same urine drug levels as subjects who took golden seal capsules along with the water. Toxicity Cautions Use for masking illicit drug use in urine drug tests Endangered status Cultivation Golden seal became popular in the mid-19th century. By 1905, the herb was much less plentiful, partially due to over-harvesting and partially to habitat destruction. Wild golden seal is listed in Appendix 2 of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, which by definition means harvest from public land is prohibited and may require a permit to export, although trade of the plants is still deemed to be undetrimental to the wildlife population and is otherwise unregulated. Canada as well as 17 of the 27 U.S. states where it natively grows have declared it as either threatened, vulnerable, or uncommon in their area. More than 60 million golden seal plants are picked each year without being replaced. The process of mountaintop removal mining has recently put the wild golden seal population at major risk due to loss of habitat illegality of removing golden seal for transplant without registration while destruction in the process of removing the mountain top is permitted, and increased economic pressure on stands outside of the removal area. Many herbalists urge caution in choosing products containing golden seal, as they may have been harvested in an unsustainable manner as opposed to having been organically cultivated. There are several berberine-containing plants that can serve as useful alternatives, including Chinese coptis, yellow root, or Oregon grape root. As of 1998, only 2.4% of golden seal plant material originated from a cultivated source rather than wild harvest, although that number was projected to rise by 15-30% to 30 over the next several years. In response to conservation concerns, 
research has expanded regarding the propagation success of wild plant material for commercial yield. Because golden seal grows in patches of interconnected ramets reproducing asexually through clonal propagation, transplanting rhizome propagules into cultivated settings is possible. Seed propagation is also feasible and has advantages like lower cost and greater genetic variability, but is considered difficult and unpredictable. Golden seal can be commercially cultivated through agroforestry in natural settings mirroring the plant's ecological environment, or on farms with artificial shade canopies. Another propagation method of golden seal utilizes a controlled environment such as a greenhouse growing lab where the plant's environmental needs such as light, water, and temperature are artificially simulated. Crop selection and biotechnology experimentation may be employed to increase yield and pharmacological potency. Controlled environments can greatly reduce the amount of time required to grow golden seal to its desired harvestable state. While forest cultivated plants double in mass every 3 to 5 years, Plants can double in mass every 15 weeks in growth chambers and triple in growth when grown in a coarse soil medium. Subculturing can take place every 30 days to mass propagate the plant. Literature <laughs>